welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl tando m um so guys today i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make pap and putin so we're starting with the pap first so guys you have to use a medium-sized pot you don't have to use depending on how many people you're making it for but i'm using a medium-sized pot the water as you can see it's like in the middle like maybe three quarters or half ish so that's the how much water i'm using so i am when i start i usually put the heat up high like um just to make it, the water boil faster but you can just boil with a kettle and then just put it into the pot so that it's just faster but that's how i started and then moving on i am using this hot pot like I make all my pap here this is like the best i think heart is like the best for pap but that's just my opinion rats moving on guys when the water starts boiling you add a pinch of salt um i don't think the first I, I showed but i added a pinch of salt right i'm going to be using cups to measure so i take a first cup put it into my bowl with take a second cup And I put it into my bowl and I mix. So guys you have to mix really well make sure that it has no lumps so you have to mix really well this is the part that's very important so then when you start seeing it boil right that's when you know that it's ready to be mixed more so guys please remove it from the hot stove to the side that's where you start adding your maize meal right i added one cup now i mix but as you can see it's still very wet right so we're gonna add another cup and then you mix guys the trick here is that you must not put a lot of maize at once do it by cup by cup so that your you don't have tough pap you know you don't have yeah it's thinner <laughs> you know you don't have tough pap so i'm gonna put another cup but it's starting to come together the trick is to make it be a little bit soft in this process by the time you put it on the stove and it's done you'll actually see the end results will be so much better because it actually as it cooks more it actually becomes a bit more what tougher or like stiffer so this is the don't put a lot of pap that was not a full cup that was a half so now you turn it back to the stove it cannot be off hot like the the hotness of the stove for too long so make sure that you just return it and then you can just you know whip it and is it, is it a whip guys <laughs> you guys understand what i mean though right that's it do you see the consistency of this pap right close it up and then we're gonna cook it for 30 minutes done now so 15 minutes later again so you're done as you can see your pup is done usually i like to dish up with like a salsa so you just wet the salsa with some water right so that the pup won't stick then just put it into your pot um and you just what yeah dish up man <laughs> so yeah guys the pup is ready i hope you guys enjoy it so now guys i'm gonna be making uputu which is a very simple fast easy um recipe it's like what is it what is it called in zulu i don't know but yeah 
uputu in concert kogu upo something something like that <laughs> but yeah guys so very first you have to just boil the water make sure that it's not a lot of water as you guys can see it's literally like probably like one quarter of the water you don't put too much water for this it's like also it also depends on how many people you're actually doing it for um because the water here was pre-boiled i just put it on four right and then this time i'm using a dish so just put like it but like it's equivalent of a cup actually because it's small so you just put in one um cup right and you just keep adding maize unlike up here you just keep adding maize and and you mix with your fork you definitely need to use a fork for this one and then guys you're mixing though it depends on how thick or like the particles you want your your putu to be because if you stir it too much you're gonna get like that fine 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 um putu but depending on how you want it as you can see here my consistency i wanted to have a bit of those thick you know um meal sizes i don't want it to be completely like flaky right so just keep on adding maize and as you can see it's already formed very fast so just keep on doing that if you want it even more flaky also add more maize guys all done i enjoy my uputsu with some obviously amasi i add some cream and i use exoil toil because it's like a sugar replacement because i don't take sugar anymore anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this